Hello, this is Jen Jeff here, and having done the USA and England, we are now on to the French. Now, I usually like to bash France because they're a fun country to bash. So, if you're French, I apolog apologize, but you're going to be bashed a bit. This army. Oh well. Uh, yep. Basically, the hum the uh, Jeep Armored Vehicle again. Jeep Armored Vehicle. Jeep Command Vehicle. Standard with many armies, it seems. VAB PC. Great. Armored. Gives its position away with a machine gun. Not really useful for the points. Just stick with this. You get more of them. This. Handy. Can actually fight stuff off, but it has so little armor that it might as well just be giving its position away, and that limits its usefulness. Supply truck does what supply trucks do. Supply things. It looks like almost like they're chains on the tires, but it's just white stripes are on there. Okay. Puma command unit. They've really priced these reasonable now in order. That, and it really matches up with their effectiveness, and actually makes airborne decks useful with these lower costs. But they're still easy to spot and destroy, as one player recently discovered when I kept cluster bombing all of his helicopters. Uh, the Puma Logistics carries a thousand fuel, does the job, not expensive, fairly quickly. Fob, yeah, we can move on. Fob. Fob is a fob. First Milan. This gun isn't the greatest up close, but with only two men, you don't want them getting into shooting range. Usually you just bring it in with the VLRA and drive the VLRA away. Not really too much point in bringing it in with uh, much else. Because this thing is fast enough and does the job. Even though infantry and VABs can be useful, and also infantry and these things can be useful, depending on the situation, I wouldn't put Milan in the AMX 10Ps myself. Now they get airborne versions as well in the Puma and then the Puma Pirate. Puma Pirate has a big 20 mil cannon mounted on the side, which is actually the heaviest armament I know of in one of these, in, well, at least on the NATO side, for airborne infantry transport. Then we've got the F2. Now, the Milan F1 is really good, accuracy 7, AP power of 16, but limited because the AP power is limited, and it has at more than that, more than adequate range. F2, the difference between these two units is they've got the Mat 49 and the FAMAS, as well as the Milan 1, compared to the Milan 2. Accuracy goes up by 2 for that, but you still don't want these guys getting into combat range anyway for that thing, because they, well, with two men, they die. And then the Milan F2 brings it from a accuracy 4 to an accuracy 8, and brings up the AP power from 16 to 24. Much more effective, and really not all that much more costly, because it's 20, 15. Five points more, that is a giant bonus for five points. Now the VLRA, I usually like to use trucks anyway, because they're cheap. One point each, get it done. Vabs... Good, basic armored unit, I'm just going to get through them real quick. Basic armored unit, decent gun to support, decent machine gun to support. This is better with a 20 millimeter, but I'm not sure if the price is really worth it. It is twice as expensive. And then this thick... You know what? 20 points for that and 20 points for that. Unless you really need speed, if you want the extra gun, Go with this, because you get an extra armor on the front, compared to the VAB, and you have the same gun. And you're not... Well, you're losing 40 km speed on road, but then you're matching the VLRA. But this, For the same points, the AMX 10P is the better value, I think. And then it comes in the Puma and Pirate. <clears throat> Chasseurs! These things are basic French infantry, 10 points each. Bring them in in VLRAs, because that's then they're just cheap infantry on trucks. Handy in that regard. They have the Mat 49, which is really kind of piss poor in infantry combat. There's 10 men each, so average strength. 
this rocket, accuracy 8, AP power is a bit lacking, but it'll destroy things in towns. And... It's a machine gun. Like many. But it does the job. Nothing really particularly outstanding with this unit. It's just French cheap infantry. Now on to the Legion. Oh. Yeah, we'll talk about the Puma too. Puma comes with a speed of 250. It's medium, so easy to see. And it varies from a 7.62mm machine gun to a 20mm machine gun. Or auto cannon, or whatever you want to call it. And it's a 10 point upgrade between the two. I've seen Pumas be incredibly effective. So, with the pirate, at least, the Puma pirate. With its 20mm, it can be incredibly effective, so go with that. It's, it's, what, 10 points extra? If you're going airborne, go with the pirate. Legion! Difference! You, go, you now have the FAMAS which has the better accuracy, so the accuracy goes up 4 points to 9. They're also, Legion are much better trained anyway. You go from the SARPAC to the LRA, LRAC, LRAC. Corresponding increase of accuracy from 8 to 14. The French like accurate anti-tank weapons. AP power goes from 12 to 16. It is better. Suppression also improves. Same range. Go for the Legion, they're only twice as expensive and far more capable. And they're not going to mess with that anti-tank weapon there. Now, they have a better machine gun, well, statistically the same machine gun, actually, if you think about it. Machine gun stats do not change, but the accuracy improves slightly, mostly because of the skill of the unit. Reservists! I don't actually own an MAS-4956, but I own some of the other ones. And it's got the basic anti-tank rocket, accuracy 8, which is really good for a reserve unit, with bolt action, so it's slower firing than, say, that. Oh, we skipped one! But yeah, so it's a bit slower firing, and really, I think they should give the bolt actions longer range for ground, because holy crap, can a bolt action, a full power rifle cartridge can travel. A long way. But yeah, it's basically cheap infantry. I'd say it's better than average cheap infantry. It's just lacking the machine gun. Uh, we'll go take these guys too, because I skipped over them. Uh, I'm honestly not quite sure what these guys are. They're cross between, like, one of the previous units. The cross between this unit and the Chasseurs. They're better than the Chasseurs, but not as good as the Legion. Accuracy 9. Suppression is better, but they are using a larger gun after all. Same machine gun. So... Stats aren't all that different with the Legion. The same anti-tank we weapon. Moving on to the Sappers. <clears throat> MAT-49, with its usual craptastic glory. I actually have anything that's larger? No, everything's 10 men. So, they got that, and then they have the LFP-54. These guys die in the open generally, and they're borderline useless. Because the range for this is so, so short. Put them in the AMX-10P so they have a hope of getting close to their target, or at least close enough to do something. Support. This thing was one wondrously useful in the previous game and is still undoubtedly wondrously, wonderfully useful today. Not the greatest range, but it's indirect fire and has a really basic craptastic heat round to boot that can take out light armored vehicles when used properly. Quick reaction artillery for the French. Not very heavy. Don't expect it to do much in terms of damage, but it can stun things. And just a largely, vastly improved version with better light capability. 10 points more, you get 4,200 meters range compared to 2,625 meters, and you get the auto cannon in addition to that. So, still maintains the indirect capability, additional auto cannon, well worth, more than worth, the 10 point 
increase in price, that's for sure. Same speed and everything in range. Uh, British, look at the British 105, same things I've said. Um, not the great, not fast, but rapid reaction artillery, fires a lot of rounds, suppression, does a decent job. Overpowered in the previous game, still effective in this game. Not as accurate, HE power is still rather high, and range is good. HE power of 10, suppression 357, rate, rate of fire is really good for a 155 at 7 rounds a minute. Why is there's oh yeah hit strength number of hit points road speed is good off road speed is good range is good for driving carries a Browning and that thing accuracy three but if it does hit something it's got an AP power of fourteen so it can defend itself some from some light armored threats a fun little anti aircraft gun not radar guided oh no it is radar guided never mind so this will attract S A E D rounds. So we'll... No, this won't. Fire and forget. Stationary. Must be stationary to fire. Uh, these are surprisingly good because their accuracy is so good. And uh, the range is slightly lacking for the AMX-30 Roland. One, the basic one. Two is an improvement. Even though they only really fire two missiles at once and then sit there kind of going... Duh! While they're reloading. Because if you notice, they've only got two launchers. But, range improves and the accuracy goes from 10 to 13. Before I thought these were kind of slightly useless, but they increase the HE power, so generally they're going to kill any aircraft in two hits. I think it used to be a 3 HE power, but then the recent upgrade really boofed them a little bit. Makes them a really good system. The Roland 1 does not is not radar, Roland 2 is radar, so this one will not attract anti-radar missiles, this one will. Surround them with these as cannon fodder, protect 60 points with 20, and then you have the extra anti-aircraft capability. VAB VDAA fills largely the same role as this, lighter guns, faster rate of fire, and same cost. But it is faster, much longer range, can drive around with exceptional optics. This also has exceptional optics, by the way. So this is very good for... Really, it's kind of like a recon unit. Actually, it's a well-armed recon unit. I'm going to try using it as one. It's got exceptional optics, after all. Velory... Wait, is that radar guided? No, it's not even radar guided. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to try using it as a scout. A heavily armed scout. Now we got this. It's basically a man pad missile system. Not radar, so it will avoid those things. Good against helicopters, not so good as against aircraft. Holy crap, is that accurate? And it's got a really good HE power for such a light system. In fact, I think is the best in the French deck. Yep. Oh, there's no bashing in this. Uh, the AMX-13 Harpoon. The gun sucks balls. Uh, <laughs> just... 1,575 meter range, that's a joke. Accuracy 3, AP power, just forget it. High explosive, forget it. Suppression is even barely there, but it fires quickly! Huzzah! What it's really useful for is the fact it carries a bunch of these things. They're not particularly heavy or the greatest range, 2,450 meters, accuracy 7, 8, armor piercing power of 16. So it makes up for the gun, and when hidden, can do a pretty good job. And it's a wonderful ambush unit, I've seen this used rather well. But don't expect it to survive anything, because with most, like with most French tanks, there is no armor, but they... Oh, well, this thing isn't even particularly fast. Usually they are. This can't even rightly be called a tank. There's, once again, no armor for it. Like many of the other units. It is fast, yes, quite fast. But this isn't a tank. This is a gun on wheels. This should be stuck in vehicles. But no, it's in here under tanks, and it's not a tank. Accuracy 8, which is nice. AP power 12, meh, not really impressive. HE power, not very impressive. Really, it's not all that great a gun. With a range of only 1,925. 
It can react quickly, travel back and forth across the map, and has the range to do so. But this is by no means a tank. And don't use it as one. Flank. Go around the flanks, take advantage of its speed, infiltrate, and get behind them. This is the only way, it, the, that's the only way this thing's going to be effective. I've seen so many people use these as straight up tanks, and it's just, it, it's flat out not a tank, and does not deserve to be in the tank field. We're going to go to the AMX-30. Um, is that using the same gun? Nope, it's not even using the same gun. So it's got inferior power, but better armor to the AMX-10 RCSB. Accuracy 8, same accuracy, better armor, um, poorer sights, and not as fast. Cheap tank. For AMX 30B, actually I use these a lot too. I have a French, I finally made a French deck, and I use these AMX 30s a lot, just cheap cannon fodder. AMX 30B, better gun, range increases to 2,100 meters instead of 1,925. Accuracy stays the same. AP power goes up by two points. Still does not match this. And power, everything else stays the same. Armor is no improvement between these two. The machine, the auto cannon comes in. And in addition, good auto cannon, 1,575 meter range. Accuracy two, AP power two, HE power one. Gives it anti helicopter support ability and some heavier anti well say light armor support and that is a big improvement this is really a big improvement for 10 points AMX 30 B2 largely the same thing accuracy goes to 10 slight improvement in armor and speed because the side and top armor gets a boost AP power goes from 11 to 12 all other stats remain the same and then to this, to this. Accuracy goes to 12 and AP power goes to 16. This makes this one of the most accurate tanks in the game, but the gun's range still is lacking at 2,100 meters. Front armor improves as well as sides, so the armor is now 11 on, 11 on the front compared to 7, and then 5 compared to 4. Still not really particularly spectacular. Speed, not improved over the previous version at 70 kilometers an hour. AMX 32. Good improvement, uses a 120 mil millimeter instead of the 105. Range goes to 2,275 meters. Accuracy is down to 11, but AP power is now 18. Suppression slightly improves, and the rate of fire actually improves with the bigger gun. Optics improve. Armor, slight decrease in the front, everything else is the same, uses the same gun, a 20mm cannon and machine gun. Improvement between this and that is two additional points in armor for both the front and side and a 5 km an hour increase in off-road speed. Uses slightly more fuel to get 20 kilometers further. Um, I don't see how that's worth, nine, worth 10 points. Not when all these are 10 point increases and there's some significant in except for that one being 15 and there's some significant increases between these like this one for 10 points you go from only a machine gun to an auto cannon that gets you an entirely new weapon and it improves the armor piercing power from a 9 to an 11 that's worth 10 points this for a two point increase in armor and that is it and well, slight increase to range, speed and stuff. And that's not worth it. Frankly, I think the AMX 32 is more cost effective than the AMX 40. Recon. The French like their really fast light recon. Not the greatest optics, really. This is still a tank. It's a light tank. I wouldn't use it for a recon roll. It's small. Doesn't have really good range gun is really not that bad. Accuracy 6, AP power of 8, HE power of 3, suppression 104, rate of fire 19 rounds a minute. The French like fast firing cannons. Range 1575. This is a good thing to keep on your flanks. It'll watch out for flanking maneuvers. It's cheap. This thing isn't very maneuverable. Well, it's not really cheap for a recon. But really, I wouldn't use it. And this is no improvement. One 
Well, they did stick this in the right spot. Really, it's the same thing as the previous one. I wonder if the optics are even the same. Nope, the optics are not quite the same. So, <laughs> is it really just fi 20 extra points for, like, nothing? 8, 12, 3, 8, 12, three. Yeah, it's, you got, you're spending 20 extra points for only better optics. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay, light recon, 1,750 meter range, recoilless rifle, cheap, no, well, not once again, actually not cheap at all. Very good optics, road speed is fast, off-road speed not so, and range is good, accuracy is piss poor, so I wouldn't use it. This used to be a really cheap unit in the previous game, but it's now come back as a recon, very good optics. 90 millimeter heat rounds, accuracy 3, AP power 8. So really, choice is that, or that. The armor does not make up for the 5 point difference. Accuracy is the same, I'd rather use this because if it happens to hit, like this thing if it happens to hit, this has an AP power of 12 compared to an AP power of 8. This is faster off-road, yes, but you're going to be putting these on the flanks, they don't have to move much. This actually has a useful gun. Accuracy 6, AP power of 11. Good good for securing flanks. And that's what I'd use it for. And it's got a machine gun on it. Hooray, machine gun. Now these guys... Thank you, truck. We're going to look at the infantry. That's why we're here. Basic scout. Ac optics very good. Accuracy... Really bad accuracy, but apparently because of the very good optics, they have special forces things, and their rate of fire is doubled. Um, yeah, these are recons. They're only strength 5. You could use them to infiltrate, but there are better units. Keep these things doing what recon does best, and reconnaissance things. Put them in pumas and pirates. Commandos. As I said, nice. Commandos are better. Better gun. Better suppression and better accuracy, so a better anti-tank weapon. Still small size, but still special ops, and also both are very fast off-road. Stick these in helicopters, use them to recon the rear of the enemy line, and destroy the occasional enemy command unit, because that's what special forces should be doing. Really a craptastic overpriced recon scout. Very good optics, which really isn't really... I wouldn't bring a helicopter unless it's got excellent optics, otherwise this thing is flying too close to the enemy and getting itself destroyed. Speed is also kind of lackluster, and the range is not spectacular. It's also rather poor in strength area. But yeah, I, if you really if you have a French-only deck, use it, because you need airborne recon, but really, I wouldn't use it. AMX-10P, already talked about that. Milan and Hot. Now, I don't think this can carry infantry, because I've never tried, but never thought to. It's got a 20mm cannon. Its infantry carrying capacity is replaced with the Milan, and its corresponding ammunition and equipment. Carries the Milan F1, with the range, which is the basic Milan, range 2,450 meters, accuracy 7, AP power 16. Can be useful. I've seen people use it to effect, but... The hot is better. And this is nice because it can take on light armored vehicles with the auto cannon and then take out tanks with the Milan. So it's got a nice dual purpose role in that regard. And then we've got the one with the hot one anti tank guided missile, 2,625 meter range, accuracy 8, and a whopping 22 AP power. This will destroy tanks, keep it hidden and protected because it will be destroyed by artillery and other tanks quite easily. M1, M201 Milan, basically a jeep with a Milan mounted on it. Enough said, there's nothing really spectacular. Cheap, does the job, reacts quickly, long range, great reserve force. Actually, this makes a wonderful reserve force, and it can really soak up tank attacks. Mephisto uses the hot system mounted on a VAB. 
Same thing as the hot up here. Slightly fewer rounds involved. It goes from 16 to 12, but this is faster on roads, much better operational range, and faster off road. So this is another mobile reserve unit. And troop transports. Moving on. The helicopters are available. Troop transports with these two. We've already spoken about them. Cannon. What the what what? What, what, why are you in the same fi ca I guess they've got missiles and auto cannons. Okay. Cheap. These used to be like 25 in the previous game. Now they're 20. These things, when up close, can take out heavier tanks from the sky. Useful in that regard. Best used en masse on stun targets. So stun them and then swamp them with these things can do the job. I've done that so many times. Uh, yep, they cut out the troop transport capability for a helicopter with a giant 30mm cannon on it. Accuracy 6, so it's more accurate than that one. AP power is identical. Suppression has improved, and the rate of fire has actually improved as well. Strength has gone up, and it's a prototype. Range has gone down and carries like twice as, more than twice as much fuel, so... Uh, mediocre, but interesting. Hot. Basically, it's a helicopter with these hot anti-tank missiles mounted on it. I could make a joke about the name, but I'm not going to. We already know how good these are. They're very good. Moving on. Celtic. Carries anti-aircraft anti missiles on it. Anti-aircraft helicopter, 55 points. I think they're rather expensive for their role. There's better way, better way to get anti-aircraft. But... Great for reacting against enemy helicopters, because they can move across the field real quick. Planes, the Crusader. Uh, I have no clue what the hell this thing's role is supposed to be. The gun isn't enough to be used against ground targets or aircraft. And the missile is inadequate against anything. Yes, it's accurate. Armor, The HE power is a joke, so it's not really... It's not... I don't know what role this thing exists for. And really, I don't like the design either. Looks like a shit aircraft. Entard! Not to be confused with retard! I had to do that. I also pronounced it entirely wrong. I'm aware of that. But whatever. <clears throat> I kind of left there. Yeah. Okay, uh, 30 millimeter cannon better, much better accuracy. HE power is one, so it can hit light armor targets like this thing, I suppose, can. But it carries bombs as well. So it's not an air superiority fighter, just bomb stuff with it. It's also not particularly fast, so this probably won't survive bomb runs. But you should get a lot of them, and they're cheap at 50 points a pop. Really... <laughs> I don't even know why this thing's worth 65 points. I don't see how this could be useful. This thing, with its bad name, is more useful than than the F-8, the whatever the frick that Crusader's supposed to be. The Super One goes from a bomb, loses the, drops the can, drops the gun. Where's the gun mounted on this thing? Is it on a gun pod? Can they even do that? I don't see a gun pod on there, so I guess they just flat out removed it. And they mount these things here. Air-to-ground missiles. No one uses these air-to-ground missiles properly anyway, but if you know how to use them properly, accuracy 14, AP power 30, devastating against tanks. Fires one missile. Well, I guess that makes it slightly more useful. Because instead of sitting there loitering, spinning in circles and getting shot down, it's going to fly in, fire a missile, and run away. Precisely what many planes should be doing. It's also got a l good boost of speed, despite being the same aircraft. Largely. Over the previous one. 600 and 750. Jaguar! There we go. Anti-radar missile unit. And that's its role in life. It Accuracy 8, AP power 30. If it hits, it will destroy any anti-aircraft battery it's going for. That has radar operations, obviously. Good range. 
I love watching people fly this over the front line instead of behind the front line and then wonder why they've lost all their aircraft. But these are good. Do the job. There are better ones, but they're good. If you're in French, with a French-only deck, you don't have much of a choice. This is an improvement over that in anti-aircraft capabilities and both... Well, it's got two of these things. Range 4,900 meters, accuracy 10, HG power of 5, suppression of 200. So you might be able to stun them, but it'll take two missiles to shoot your enemy out of the sky. And this thing is not a good follow-up because it brings them down to nine out of it brings them down to one out of ten health, and then they can fly away. So, yeah. <clears throat> Moving on, Mirage Fi 200. Reality: None of these aircraft performed what I'd give stellar performance records to in real life. Difference between this for ten points is a better infrared missile, which increases its range against airplanes and it's increasing its accuracy of one, and you get better ECM. And then you go from this to this one, which are completely different planes, because these two are the same plane, and then you get a completely different plane here. Much better missile, better accuracy, range 5,600 meters, same gun, main gun throughout, so that doesn't change, and no further improvement to the magic. It's an air, su air superiority fighter that I kind of find lacking. Mirage 3C, ground support. Four 400 kilogram bombs. Handy. Put it that way. And then, and then this one is the same thing with eight for 25 points more. I find these things more useful than any, of the French any other French aircraft. <clears throat> and that is the French, in a nutshell. Have fun, everybody.